Hi everyone. I'm so excited to tell you that you can now share a link, a private link, directly from the desktop app. A big shout out to Melody Lane for pointing this out to me. So let's take a look at how to do this. Start here on the landing page in the desktop app. I'm in version 5.9.8, which is the latest version. I wanted to show you that originally when we clicked share, we needed to add details. We'd open the screen, show visible to others, and we'd fill in these requirements. The problem with this is if you wanted to share a link privately, you couldn't because as soon as you added a photo, put in all the information, the project would be shared in the Cricut community for public use. If you turned off visible to others, this green toggle, you wouldn't be able to share a link that anybody could open. So we're happy to say that we can now get our link privately. You'll go up to the hamburger, the three lines on the top left, click on it and go to view profile. When we go to view profile, I can see all my projects. But if you click on my profile, when you open a project, if you click on my name, you won't be able to see all my projects. So if you share a link this way and someone clicks on your name, they will only see what you've shared. They won't see all your projects that you've worked on privately. So from here, we're going to click on share and we see copy project link and that's what we're going to use. We're going to copy project link and from there I can go to my Facebook or my messenger or email or wherever I want and just right click and paste. And there's the link for the project. I click post And when I click on that link, it's going to open a browser screen. I'm not sure yet how it's going to change so that it opens directly in the app. But for now, I'm just going to click open, allow, and it will go back to my desktop app and open the project that I've shared. So that's how you can share links from the desktop app now without having to share in the Cricut community. So if you just want a link for your friends, for your Facebook group, or to email to someone, you can do that now through the desktop app. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching.